Okay, we'll get back to your forecast with Robert, sir. Hi. Yes, we will. <laughs> so I guess people, if they're traveling, they need to know what the weather's going to be like if they're staying here. Maybe they're going out Black Friday. Well, all of that. And they also need to know if they've got family coming in from somewhere else, could their flight maybe be messed up oh, by the weather point. somewhere mm -hmm. else? I do need to know that. Yeah. So the good news is I think most of us will be okay. We'll get to that here in just a minute. Look at Fayetteville. It's all lit up tonight. It's so pretty because the lights of the Ozarks never disappoint. 48 in Fayetteville today, well shy of the average, which is 57. All the cloud cover keeping our morning low, warmer than it should be as well. There's a look at Fort Smith and Interstate 540. 54 and 46, the exact same numbers as yesterday. You can thank all that cloud cover and the, and the a little bit of rain that we had, but it's gonna change here. We'll have a cold day on Wednesday, and then just in time for Thanksgiving, we get one above average day, and then things start to cool off again as we get into the weekend and early next week. However, the cool down will be a sunny one. We don't really have to worry about a lot of precipitation. A uh, same thing, a great Thanksgiving in the Fort Smith and River Valley area. Then we start to cool back down morning lows uh, a little bit below average uh, for this time of the year. Right now we're cooling down. Skies are clearing in Northwest Arkansas, upper 30s and lower 40s. As we slide you into the River Valley, we're basically in the lower 40s for the most part. Big picture, yeah, it's nice and quiet. We have a system uh, moving across the I-94 corridor through Montana and North Dakota. Some rain showers in Seattle, but the, the real unsettled weather, if we're going to see travel delays, is along the northeast with this storm system here. We've got uh, rainfall from about uh, Providence, Rhode Island, and south. North of that, we've got quite a bit of snow. Upstate New York into New England, the Adirondacks, the Catskills, even a little bit of a wintry mix as well. So if you've got family members on the East Coast coming here, they could have some issues. We'll touch on that in a second. Rest of the night looks nice and quiet. Those clear skies allowing things to really cool down by tomorrow morning. And temperatures really don't go anywhere tomorrow because of this persistent northwesterly flow stuck in the 40s all day for most of us. And by Thanksgiving morning, if you're getting up early to throw that turkey in the oven, it'll be a chilly morning in the 30s. Now, as for our travel delays, a lot of green here on the map, with the exception of New England and the I-95 corridor. That's where we could see some delay, so keep that in mind. Lows tonight, only for, well, chilly, as I should say, 20s and 30s. Temperatures really don't rise much tomorrow, despite the sunshine, upper 40s and lower 50s. And there's a look at the extended forecast. As I said, Thanksgiving looks great. So does Black Friday. So does Small Business Saturday on Saturday. A, a system will slide by that could toss a couple of showers very early Sunday morning our way. I think most of Sunday looks OK. Rest of early next week looks good. And same thing here in the River Valley. No issues to really worry about. Temperatures below average, but not too bad, despite a couple of sprinkles maybe Sunday morning. Stay with us. Meredith Balky. She's no, it's not Mary, but Brandon Evans doing our sports tonight. Whoa, we got a treat for you right after the break.